What's up guys? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to Gossip S Talk. Johnny Depp has won the defamation suit against his former wife Amber Heard after a jury found that she had defamed Depp by saying that he had abused her over the course of their marriage. Depp, who was not in court due to a scheduled work commitment, was charged for $50 million in damages over a 2018 opinion editorial essay by Heard that was published in the Washington Post. In the essay, Heard cited that she had become a public figure for representing domestic abuse. However, the essay never presented Depp by his name, but his lawyers believed that it indirectly referred to allegations that Heard made against him during their 2016 divorce. The jury found that Heard could not confirm her allegations against Depp, and she even knew that her claims of abuse were mistaken when she published her 2018 essay. The jury decided that Heard acted with virtual contempt while writing her op-ed. The jury has awarded Depp $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages in his defamation suit. Fairfax County Circuit Court Judge Penny Askeray reduced the punitive damages, which the jury has awarded to Depp to $350,000, which is because of the state's statutory cap or legal limit that made his total damages to $10.4 million. Depp said that from the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome. The jury has given him his life back, and he is truly humbled with this. Amber had countersued Depp for $100 million and has said that she became violent with Depp in self-defense or while protecting her younger sister. Heard's countersuit centered around three statements made by Depp's former lawyer Adam Waldman in 2020, in which he described Heard's statements of abuse as a joke. The jury found that Depp has defamed Heard on a single count, which is why the jury has awarded her $2 million in compensatory damages, but $0 in punitive damages. The panel, which started reviewing things, came to its decision after 13 hours and over the course of three days, the high-profile trial, which took place for a total of six weeks in Fairfax County, Virginia, was broadcasted across the country and attracted multiple headlines. Defamation lawsuits filed in the U.S. by public figures, such as an actor, are generally believed as tough cases to win due to the higher standard that a sewer must prove. The Supreme Court decided that defamation suits brought by popular figures must not only confirm that the claims were false and caused them damage, but also the person who has made the defamatory statement has performed it because of actual malice. In a recent statement, Heard said that the disappointment that she felt today is beyond words. She is unhappy that the peak of information was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and influence of her ex-husband. The jury's decision marks a legal rescue for Depp, who lost a libel case in the United Kingdom two years ago over allegations that he slammed her. Depp sued the parent company that owns The Sun and the newspaper's executive editor for calling him a wife beater in 2018. Justice Andrew Nicholl made his verdict against Depp in 2020, saying that the British tabloid had demonstrated sufficient evidence to show that Depp was violent against Heard on at least 12 to 14 occasions. In her statement, Heard said she believes Depp's lawyers have succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key problem of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so positive that she gained victory in the UK. During the trial, Depp confirmed that he lost nothing less than everything after Heard's essay was published, and the statements have also controlled his every waking second. In 2016, Heard claimed that when she filed for a guarding order that Depp damaged her after he threw a phone at her. She wrote in a sworn declaration to the court that she was living in fear that Johnny will return to her house to terrorize her, physically and emotionally. Depp denied the incident while saying that he went to the pair's penthouse the day after his mother died to speak to Heard about his intention to file for divorce. In that conversation, Depp and Heard started to argue, and he tossed her cell phone on the couch after he heard her laughing sound on a phone call with her friend. During the case, Depp's legal team called two police officers in the witness stand, who reacted to the scene in 2016. The officers said they did not observe physical injury to Heard, reporting that her face appeared red with emotion while she was grudging. Heard told the court that she did not call 911 during the 2016 argument and chose not to work together with police because she feared they might arrest him. 
whom she was trying to defend. Depp's legal team blamed her for faking injuries and for fake photos of herself with bruises in an attempt to gain a financial benefit in a divorce. Heard rejected the staging and doctoring photos in her abuse allegations. Depp's lawyers accused Heard for being the abuser in the relationship while cross-examining her and said that she lied about fearing him. While the final news here is that Depp has successfully won the lawsuit and now we are going to look at a new beginning of his life. With that being said, it's time to end our video. Thanks for watching.